So this next exercise, the hip hinge, is a very important exercise for back health. It teaches you to dissociate your hips from your low back. So, you're going to grab a stick, make it three points of contact, one on your, your sacrum here, the top of your bum, the other one on your mid spine back there, and then the back of your head. You gotta keep those three points of contact with one hand on your low back, one hand on your neck. Slide bend in the knees, and all you're gonna do is hinge back without losing one of those contact points. You come over here a little bit. So most people will tend to lose the low contact point because they start flexing in their low back. Instead, you want to keep that neutral spine the whole time. So the stick serves as a reminder for it. But this one is not just bending over, it's shifting your weight back. So to get used to that backward weight shift, you can get your bum close to a wall and try to tap your bum against the wall. Okay? Again, just keep a slight bend in the knees the whole time. This is not a squat. If you don't have access to a bar, another version is with your hands here, clasped, fingers together, hand on your chin, and you're going to do the same thing. Slight bend in the knees, shift your hips back, trying to tap the wall. 